Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is how to read a web page without all of the distractions. If you're anything like me, you like to save up a few things to read when you're on the plane or traveling somewhere. And the Surface Pro sits really well on your lap for this purpose with the kickstand and the keyboard folded underneath. But what about the software experience? There's three different tools that I use to improve my reading experience on the Surface, and they're all found in Microsoft Edge. One of the first reasons that I use the Microsoft Edge browser to read long form content is because of the reading mode. Along the address bar, you'll notice on the right hand side that on certain web pages, you'll see a little book appear. And if you click on that button, it gets rid of all of the content that sits around the article that you wanna read, all of the ads and menus and distractions, and gives us a nice, simple, EPUB-like interface or book reader type interface with pages that I can flip through and a nice readable background and font. For me, this is really important because I often want to read things and take notes at the same time. So sometimes I'll have one note sitting alongside of this content that I'm reading ready to take notes. The second tool that I often use in Microsoft Edge on my Surface is the reading list. When I click on the favorites button in the address bar, I can add a website to the favorites, of course, but you'll notice in Edge, I can also switch over to the reading list mode. When I click on this, it actually takes a copy of the web page for me and keeps it offline on my device so that I can call it up when I'm on a plane going somewhere and I'm out of signal. If you also use Microsoft Edge on your mobile device, you can have the same reading list appear on your mobile device as on your Surface. The third tool that's built into Edge and it's really useful on Surface is the immersive reader. Now, I have to say, I don't use this too much, but I think a lot of people would use this feature. The Immersive Reader does a number of things for us. It allows us to have web pages read to us aloud. It adds accessibility and comprehension for learners of all ages and abilities. It allows us to focus in on single lines of text or expand the lines so that they're wider and easier for certain people to read. We can change the background color and styling of the fonts so that we can actually read better. This will be especially helpful for people with reading difficulties. And the last tool that's part of the Immersive Reader, also sometimes called Learning Tools, is the ability to show the grammar, to break the article down into verbs and nouns, for example, adjectives, and show syllables within the word. So this is especially useful for students. Again, maybe students who are learning to read or maybe struggling with reading. Now that Immersive Reader or Learning Tools feature is built into many Microsoft applications and it just happens to be here usable in Microsoft Edge as well. So if you're like me and you want to keep a few things aside to read when you have some quiet time, perhaps on your next plane trip, use those tools in Microsoft Edge, the Reading View, the Reading List and the Immersive Reader or Learning Tools. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips like this. That fly just literally flew through the shot. Right, no, it's insane, okay.